In this video, you will learn how to set up for a vaginal breach delivery. By the end of the video, you should be able to fill the simulator lubrication reservoir, prepare the birthing baby, the placenta, and the umbilical cord with optional complications, start a breach scenario, program birthing baby vitals, monitor the evaluation of the birthing baby, and reset the simulator for another labor scenario. To start setting up, you'll need to remove the contractions cover. Do not attempt to lift the cover without first releasing both latches. Press the release latch in and gently lift the cover enough to disconnect the data cable. Then remove the cover. Using the mineral oil syringe, fill the internal lubricant reservoir with 10 milliliters of mineral oil. The mineral oil reservoir needs to be refilled after four deliveries. Use the mineral oil syringe to make sure at least 15 milliliters of mineral oil are used to lubricate the cervix inside and out. Place the charged birthing baby on the white cradle. There are two rods for the birthing baby. Set the shorter rod with a notch to the side. For breech deliveries, use the longer rod without a notch. Apply a gentle pressure downward on the chin of the baby to align the spine. Push the rod into the baby's port. Rotate the connector at the end of the rod so the groove is facing up. Use the mineral oil syringe to measure 15 milliliters of mineral oil and lubricate the baby thoroughly. Once the baby is in the abdomen, check to make sure it has sufficient charge to run a complete labor. Place the birthing baby in the chosen orientation. Push the birthing rod into the motor until it locks. The birthing rod will not lock to the baby in the breech position. The breech orientation is shown in the software. Insert the lubricated placenta to the holder in the contractions abdomen and connect the data cable carefully before lowering the abdominal cover into place. Gently press down on the cover to lock it in place. Use the syringe again to make sure at least 15 milliliters of mineral oil are used to lubricate the inside of the birth canal. Be sure to run through the pre-labor checklist before starting. Once Victoria is completely prepared for the birth, click the Breach Delivery category in the Quick Launch page of the software. Select one of the scenarios with the baby symbol and click Start Scenario to begin the labor. To program birthing baby vitals, click the baby icon on the bottom of the submenu list on the left. Without the Instant Apply feature turned on, click any of the vitals on the list Click the bubble or move the sliders to make a change. The baby runtime determines how long the baby will play the programmed vitals after being delivered. Once you have programmed all the changes you want for the baby, click the Now button. The rod will not lock inside the baby in the breech position. After delivering the feet and the shoulders, the baby can be delivered at any point to simulate the assisted breach procedures. Once the birthing baby is delivered, the umbilical cord can be clamped and cut, the placenta can be delivered, and the newborn can be evaluated for signs of neonate health. The neonate can display cyanosis, crying, programmable heart and lung sounds, and realistic head movement for the duration designated by baby runtime. Once the scenario has ended, resetting Victoria for another labor is easy. Do not attempt to lift the contractions cover without first releasing both latches. Press the release latch and gently lift the cover enough to disconnect the data cable. Then remove the cover. Press the reset button in the software to return the motor to the starting position. Once the motor has completely returned to the starting position, use the drain syringe to pull the mineral oil from the drain port. 